hello everyone in the first video we set up game creator core itself in this video we'll be setting up and using the stats module before we get started i'd like to thank all of my patreon supporters for the absolutely amazing support so in our project we're going to go to window package manager we'll look for game creator and we'll find the stats module i already have it installed so i'm going to hit import import again and this is incredibly fast and what we need to do next is we need to go to module manager and there we have stats and stats examples i'm going to enable stats import and i'm going to do the same with the examples and i keep i'll keep it then in Game Creator in itself, so when we go to Plugins, Game Creator, we will see Stats and Stats Examples. If we open up Stats Examples, we have multiple examples. Let's save. And if I hit play, we will immediately see what Stats does. And it adds um, the usual health bar, mana bars, etc., etc. And, you know, we can, uh, yeah, we can damage our player or heal our player. Obviously, there's a lot more we can do with this, so I would recommend checking out all of the examples itself. But we're going to go back to our scene. Now, when we go to Game Creator and we go to Preferences, we will have this window here showing all of our stats. And stats is broken up into stats, attributes, and status effects. So in our stats, we have experience, level, etc etc now the important thing here is vitality maximum amount of health and then we have the health attribute that uses vitality itself in order to display our health so the attributes is what you'll actually be displaying and uh, using on the player and other objects as well and status effects are like for example poison now let's close this off and let's add stats to our player so I'm going to go add components I'm going to look for stats and this is needed in order to use stats on an object now right now I'm using it on a player object and obviously you can use it on any type of character but you can also use it on any type of object so a stone a tree it doesn't actually have to be a player or character now immediately this will display all of our stats and it will also display our attributes as you can see we have health 100 and mana 100 uh, mana 25 sorry we also have these options here which allows us to override the base values now let's head into those values a bit. So by default, vitality, which is what is fueling uh, our health, is set at 100. Now if I would increase this to 500, then that 100% health will suddenly be 500 health. So it will remain at 100%, but it will still just be, uh, it will already be 500. I'm going to display in a bit how that works. Now the first thing we need to do is we want to display how our health works. So I'll open up UI, Canvas. I'm not going to customize this. Um, it's just about how we set this up. And I'm going to add an image here. Now let's go to 2D view. And there we go. I'm going to drag this image in the corner here. And this is going to be the background of our health bar. And this is going to be a big health bar. That's okay. Um, there we go. So I'm going to rename this to health bar background. And I'm going to make this black um, with a bit of transparency. Then the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to duplicate this twice. And I'm going to make them children of the background itself now this will first one is going to be our delay which I'll explain in a bit and the second one is going to be our bar itself 
Now the delay is basically uh, functions the way we saw in the studs examples where when I hit damage we saw the a small delay of that wide effect um, going back so that's yeah that's basically what the delay does so what we need to do next is on the bar and on the delay we need to add a sprite and the stats examples will automatically add a square which is what we'll be using and the delay is going to be uh, white let's do 0 0.9 and then the bar itself is going to be yeah, red there we go that seems about right what we're also going to do is we're going to add some text there we go let's make this white and perfect now I want to make sure that this will always display so I'm going to turn these two on and the reason I'm doing that is that sometimes um, if we don't use um, overflow and we adjust our uh, resolutions a bit it might not display because it's going to be um, stuck to this little field um, it's not a perfect explanation but if you've used UI a bit you will know what I mean then on our background, what I'm going to do is I'm going to add the stats UI or the attribute UI. Now, the difference between these two is that the stats UI literally does um, the same as attribute UI, but for the stats. But we're going to display health as our attribute health. And we will see a ton of options here. I'm going to grab this preferences window again. I'm going to go to attributes health and um, explain a bit what all of this does. So if we have a text object, just like I created here, for title, description, short name as well, we can display everything that we have here. And I don't need that information to be visible, so I'm just going to keep it as is. Um, but we also have color, and that's the color we see here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to drag the bar into value fill image. And we still need to do some setup and I'll show you that in a bit. And if I would drag that bar into color as well, it will automatically adapt this color no matter the color I select here. Now I'm really happy with this color and I don't need this one. Um, obviously I could just change this as well, but I'm just going to keep it as is. Then I'm going to drag in the text to our um, value format here and this will display um, how much health I have out of the maximum so that's zero out of you know the maximum value which is going to be 100 here if you don't want that um, you can customize the formatting here itself here we have uh, transition speeds and delays and um, you know a couple of other things now what I'm going to do next is I'm going to select the bar and the delay again and we're going to go to image type we'll select that to field and here we have a couple of options so if you want the default horizontal bar you would select horizontal if you want your health bar to be vertical you'd select vertical and if you want your health bar to be circular you'd select radial most likely 360 or if you're doing something special you can have these other values now fill amount by default should be set to one and you can select the origin so if it's going from left to right or right to left so we're going to start with left which is the default then on our delay we're going to add the attribute UI once again we're going to select health and we're going to drag in the delay to the value fill image now here I'm going to customize this effect a tiny bit because we want a little delay here and that's pretty much all we have to do and now we've set up our health bar if you want to do the same for mana um, you know let's do that straight away we're going to duplicate that let's change the naming to mana bar background 
we'll select um, mana here. Here we'll select mana as well. Let's change the color to bluish. That's fine. And yeah, that's it. Now we've set up mana as well. So now I'm going to hit play. And it displays our values. And the reason mana is um, only um, filled like this is because mana by default is set to 25% of the maximum. And which is fueled by wisdom. And as you can see, wisdom is 100. Now, if I go to Game Creator, and I go to Wisdom, and I select this to 100, then here in Attributes, you will see that we're only at 25%. Going to toggle this up to um, 1 as well. Now, if I hit Play again, then suddenly um, we have 100 out of 100. And yeah, that's pretty much how it works. Now, I do want to easily differentiate how, uh, between these two, so I'm just going to do this. Obviously, if you don't want the text displaying, which I personally never do, um, literally just remove the text and, you know, you're done. So, next thing, I'm going to uh, add a little effect here. So, we're going to do trigger, on start, add some actions, wait, let's do two seconds, and then we'll do attribute, change attribute, player, health, We'll do subtract instead of um, add, and we'll do 50. And we're going to do another wait of 5 seconds. And we're going to um, do attribute again. And we're going to set it to 100. Now I'll hit play, and we'll see the actions play. And we do 50, and it goes back to 100. And that's it. That's all you have to do in order to uh, use and set up um, the default um, stats and attributes. Now, as you can see, this is going to be one of the most important parts to actually affect um, how you will uh, this, you know, how you will affect the player's health is. When we go to stats, which is a new option we have here, you will see all of these different effects. So we have change attributes, we have change stats, um, stat modifier, etc. etc. Now, the important thing here um, to keep in mind is that you have to select what object is going to be affected. So by default, it will be set to player. But we also have invoker, game object, etc., etc. And the reason for this is because obviously we can affect so many different things um, when it comes to stats, because we can have stats for every type of object in the game world. Um, again, it doesn't have to be a character. So let's remove this. Now, how are all of these created, and what if I want to create more? Now, the important thing is that every attribute needs to have a stat. So Let's go to Vitality, and then the important thing here is the formula. Then we're going to do Create Stats. I want to create a new one, um, which is going to be Stamina. So I'll call this condition, I don't know why, because um, I want the attribute to be called Stamina. How do they call it here? Amount of health, amount of stamina. There we go. Short name, I don't know, ST. Then here we need to select what we're using. So we're using our condition, which is our new stat, and it's going to be set to this as well. We can select some default base color, doesn't really matter. Um, that's up to you. Then the next thing for our stat, we do need to have a formula, and that's going to be quite important. So right here, we go create, 
game creator stats formula and this is going to be um, condition and we're going to drag that condition in here our base value is also going to be 100 so I'll, uh, I'll keep to the same formatting there we go and that's literally all you have to do now suddenly you will have another attribute so when we go to our player we suddenly now have stamina as well and yeah we're all set that's literally all you have to do and if you want to display that just follow the same steps now what do these formulas actually do and that's obviously quite important so by default when you create a new one it will literally be the same as the way as uh, vitality works and um, if we have vitality then we select condition um, you will see threshold max tier it's all the same now i'd recommend playing around with this quite a bit more everything you can do with these formulas is also displayed here in the references which obviously helps a lot so you don't have to look up a manual and the easiest example to see um, how formulas can be used differently is with experience so when we have experience we will see the same as vitality and in order to display the stat of our level we will have table so returns the value blah 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 stats and then experience so i'm not going to spend too much time on this as you'll need to play around with this a lot more and i'd recommend actually checking out these examples and reading in and you know trying it out but yeah, that's it. That's everything we need to do in order to set up some stats to add them to our UI and use them for our game. So that's it for this video. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.